Yeah, we're starting to see the rain chances return today, and they're going to be on the increase as we head into the weekend, at least the start of the weekend. Right now, though, focus on, yes, some dry weather and some very, very mild conditions. Temperatures are running 15 or so degrees up from this time yesterday. So a different feel as you step out. 59 Dallas, 62 from Fort Worth. Cleburne at 61, and then up around Denton, it's 62 degrees. So you really don't even need the jacket that you've needed probably the past couple of days as we do have this mild start. So jump start to our temperatures warming today. We will still be talking a warm day. By the way, we got to 80 yesterday. So not quite as warm, but still talking about mid to upper 70s. Heavy cloud cover sticking around, and then a slight chance for, for an isolated shower, especially as we get into the afternoon. So we will have rain chances fairly low as we progress on into the afternoon. And right now, you can see really not dealing with wet weather. We are dealing with heavier cloud cover. So I, even with some early day sunshine, I think those clouds kind of overtake North Texas later this afternoon. Kind of a one-two punch. We're watching these two upper-level lows back off to the west. First wind back around Arizona. This is going to kind of swing through and give us a, our first rounds of showers and storms uh, beginning, especially tonight and into Thursday. That second one is going to move through and bring us our cold front, and that happens on Thursday night. So, a couple of areas we'll be watching, and a couple of time periods we'll be watching for that rain potential. Through the afternoon, though, again, if you see rain, it's going to be very isolated, probably on the lighter side. Then this evening, we'll be watching especially northwest, Bowie, Bridgeport, back around Graham. You've got that scattered storm potential as we get into tonight. Then, fast forward on into Friday, still a cloudy day. Day, scattered showers and storms through the afternoon and into the evening. Then the rain becomes pretty widespread once we get past midnight. That's where that cold front pushes through for Friday morning. So, of course, the second question is probably how much rain are we talking about? If you are uh, along and north of I 30, if you're headed up towards the Red River, you look like you've got the better chances right now for maybe up to an inch and a half on our rainfall totals. Lower amounts if you are south of I-20 of up to about a half inch or less. And then as we look at these temperatures, uh, a drastic change from 77 today to 57 on Friday. Temperatures will be falling during the day on Friday as well.